Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wahawakakwadash, Barak Thumb. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are an Israelite. And I also want to give peace and blessings to you, Aquaf, and you children that believe on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahushai. So with that, it's the brother Karatazah, and I'm back with another uh, video epistle. Lord willing, it be edifying. And today's uh, lesson is coming out of, uh, we're using the uh, King James Bible Online, the verse of the day, uh, for Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. And it reads, the wise, first of all, it comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 35. And it reads, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. All right. Let's get that again. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. All right. A straight up shame when Yahweh Shai come back. All right. And you got a lot of fools in the nation of uh, Israel. All right. That are made up of the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. And the example that I'm about to use through the scriptures of being a fool, hey, I was, I was a fool because I was a person who said this. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the book of um, Psalms, all right, chapter, and we're gonna grab chapter uh, fourteen and verse one, and it's just an example of being uh, a fool. All right, and it and it reads. Uh, a psalm to the chief musician, a psalm or song of King David. The fool have said in his heart, meaning his mind, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. All right. I was one of these fools. A hey, uh, uh, few short years ago, I would have been the first to tell you, oh, uh, ain't no such thing as God. Oh, the Bible is the white man's book. It's fake. All right. I was because I was being foolish. All right. Not even knowing that I was being that those were abominable works. All right. Hey, may the Lord, your heart by shall forgive me. All right. For even uttering those words out of my mouth. All right. I used to tell people that ain't no God. All right. But what does it say here in the book of Psalms, chapter 14, in verse 1? The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. All right. And that, that goes back to the latter of this uh, KJV Bible verse of the day out of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 35. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. All right. Hey, and as a matter of fact, there are going to be a lot that are shamed. All right. We can grab the scripture. And I didn't even have a scripture uh, written down. But it just came to my mind. All right. Uh, many that. Uh, well, I'm going to just grab it. This is going to be. I believe it's the book of Zechariah. Uh, so like it, I can, I got to pause it. I'm going to find it real quick.
So like it, I can uh I was thinking of Zechariah uh, chapter thirteen, but it's Daniel chapter twelve. All right. Uh let's see here, Khan. This is gonna be the book of Daniel, chapter twelve. We're gonna start at verse one. All right, and it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right. The uh, one third elect of the nation of Israel, starting with the 144,000 elect men from each of the 12 respective tribes. All right. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. So that's that shame, man. All right. That uh, uh, is being uh, spoken of. All right. So with that, hey, where do we? Because uh, it says here, the wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools, all right? Because two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, are going to be uh, cut off and destroyed, all right? And they're going to be ashamed in the kingdom. They're going to, man, look, they're going to have, all Israel going to have it good, but it's going to be a, 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 that internal everlasting shame that you didn't believe on the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You didn't have faith in Yahweh Shai. You didn't believe the prophets that were speaking. And warning you, all right? That's going to be a very shameful thing to bear, okay? So with that, uh, we're going to grab uh, a precept, another precept. And this time, we're going to go into the uh, book of um, Proverbs. We're going to grab chapter 3 and verse 35, all right? And it reads, The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. All right. So you're going to fools are going to get promoted uh, to shame. All right. But the wise shall inherit glory. All right. The glory of the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Being joint heirs, hey, being first fruits. Hey, that's inheriting glory. To be of the one third elect men, women, and children, man. You can't top that. All right. So, with that, hey, while we're still here in the book of Proverbs, we're going to go to Proverbs chapter four and we're going to grab uh, verses seven and eight. All right. And it reads Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, Get understanding, all right? So, hey, that's what you want to have, wisdom, all right? The wizard, the, the wise are going to inherit the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So, let's get this again. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Verse 8. Exalt her. And she shall promote thee, meaning put uh, this truth first, all right? Put the the uh, wisdom and knowledge of this truth first, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her, all right? So when you come into the knowledge and know of these scriptures, all right, all through the uh, Rakakodash, Kodash, the Holy Spirit, amen, then you're to embrace it. And hold on tight. Okay. Um, so with that, we're going to grab another uh, precept. And this time we're going to grab Isaiah chapter 33. All right. And many brothers know where I'm going. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure, all right? Because it takes wisdom and knowledge to fear the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But if you fear him, it's going to be the strength of salvation. And it and the Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to be your treasure, your and my treasure. Hey, Lord willing, 
we stick to this, all right? So with that, hey, we're going to go into the Apocrypha, man. We're going to go into the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 1, in verse 19. And let's see what it says. Wisdom reigneth down skill and knowledge of understanding, and exalteth them to honor that hold her fast, man. All right, that's mirroring what we just got in the book of Proverbs, all right? Uh, so with that, now we're going to grab one more precept and we can close out. Like I said, Lord willing, this video was edifying. Just wanted to grab a couple of scriptures on uh, wisdom. It's way more than what I done brought out, all right? Uh, so still in the book of Sirach, chapter 39, in verse 1, Remember that key word, wisdom, and, and and it reads, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High Yahweh, and is occupied in a meditation thereof, and hey, those that are doing that, hey, you're wise, especially in these times that we're in now, man, it's over with, all right? Hey, it's it's a wrap, man. It, I, I don't see this play. I can't give you an exact date. I don't see this place going on too much longer. Too many prophecies of this Bible are being shown today. So let's get this again in the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Okay, because we have our ancient forefathers who were very wise, all right? Hey, the book of uh, Proverbs, those songs that King David uh, was singing and writing was out of wisdom, all right? Um, so with that, Lord willing, uh, this video is edifying. Once again, I want to say, call Holy Lord and Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Muhammad, Ka Kodash, Barak, Thumb, once again, I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew well, who taught me this truth and who labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations. Slack it, I can. Oh, you. Slack it. To all you, I came across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, a ball. And Shalom. And I tried to get through this lesson without yawning. Salakia. All right. Shalom.